All right, so right now we're on the trail to Labity Mansion. We did not see any no trespassing signs posted along the fence area. Here we are coming up on the mansion, right through the trees. I didn't even see it at first. Are you still recording? Yeah. Well, there's supposed to be, they say that you'll be able to hear people shouting and uh, calling your name around here as well. So. Uh, there it is. It's a lot bigger than it. Think it is. Oh, there it is, a chimney stack. No, do you know the story behind it, or? Uh, well, there's a bunch of different ones. At this point in time, there seemed to be a disembodied voice saying, "Paramedic." Well, there's a bunch of different ones. Well, there's a bunch of different ones. Well, there's a bunch of different ones. Could this have possibly been one of the labities calling for help? Um, some say, uh, the head of the household, the father cheated on. His wife with their slave, mm -hmm. and then um, the wife found out and killed the slave, and then um, he killed his wife because of it, and then killed himself. Wow! And then there's another story that it wasn't a murder, and that it was an accident, and everyone died in the house because of uh, a methane gas leak. <sighs> so. And then there's another story that says the owner, the father, jumped out of that window and killed himself. That sucks. Now, being the first story true, affairs are never good, people. Wasn't it about right here? What? Well? Well, that would be a good place oh. to hide, wouldn't it? This is where I saw that thing. Pool of black. And my phone's I'm going off. Sure that's a 54022. All right, had a little phone call. I'm gonna try to get in here a little bit. So you can see there's a lot of foliage in here, trees and whatnot. Looks like there's something over there. I don't know what that is. Probably trash somebody brought out here. Let's see where the different rooms were. It's crazy. Yeah, I was expecting there was some part of the upper floor left. Some sort of tub right there. Somebody brought it out though. What is it? Tub. Right there. That might still be there though. From there. So. There's another fireplace too. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure if there's. Yeah, there's one up Yeah, five. My God. Well, I mean. That was a long time ago. How many fireplaces? Five. 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 Where's the other? Got one right here, one right there, one over there, and then you got one over there at the bottom. If I can get a shot of it, straight ahead, right in there, you can see the wall just a little bit, and then one right there. I wouldn't be surprised. There's another one. There's a little duct right there. I wouldn't doubt some of the heat came out of. Yeah. Right up there. What is that right there? It's made by it would be extremely unsafe, but I do wish there was another floor so we could actually like go up top. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You can see where it was all connected there. So what's this? What does that say, Mammy? What's this building dated? Is it 1800s or early 19? Uh, 1800s, I believe. Do they? I don't know. I don't know much about my history of electronics, but they do have wiring. I'm sure they have some sort of wiring. Yeah. Let's see. Slight electricity. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I just, I'm standing right on the edge of that. See if you can find like a rock or something, because bricks and stuff will have dates on them. What the hell is that? Tile? Yeah, tiling. That's some old tile. trim. Something like that. Sorry. See any dates on the rock? No. Where's the... We could find some of the foundation. There should be a, a date on the foundation. It'd probably be outside, wouldn't it? Yeah. I see that. United Clay. Now, was this a... This was a wall, wasn't it? Right here? And heck, this being a mansion, I wouldn't doubt it was, you know, expensive stuff. Not many people had what these people had. 
back in the day. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, it's three stories tall. I mean, how many? Well, one of those well, is probably an attic. Yeah, because if you look at the steep top, like you said. Yeah, attic or something. Did you guys just say that? <laughs> I wasn't even listening. Yeah, yeah, La La Land. Oh, that tree there just started, like, kind of moving, but none of them outside are moving. What do you mean? That one moved? This one here. Yeah. Well, it's, it's got free airflow, if you know, if you look. Yeah. Uh, so good. it could be, but... That's a good point. But what do you think that everything... Uh, Nikki thinks there might be a basement or something, because on the other side, there's what looks like something went down. Did you know there's no, like, recollection of a basement, so if we found a basement, we would be the first ones, because there's no reports of it. Well, come here, let's shit. Well, let's look at down. it. I mean, it could be just a little, you know, <coughs> nothing. Bless you, Brian. Thank you. <coughs> if we can find the front of the building, there should be a date. Or something. Could be a basement because there's walls there's around it. Like, see, that's there's, one thing because there's, there's walls around it. Like on the sides. I think that's going underneath the house though. Like under oh, the foundation. Shit. But hmm. see, like, look here. Yeah. Well, I mean, the only way we'd know would be have somebody come in here and dig that. That's kind of there's definitely walls there. Well, as we were examining the possible entrance to the basement, you can almost hear what seems to be some type of flute. Oh, there's weird. definitely walls there. Well, oh, oh, there's definitely walls there. Well, oh, oh, there's definitely walls there. Well, could this have been some sort of instrument the slaves played that the Labadees owned? Yeah. Uh, well, I would guess so. You said there was a maid quarter? Yeah. The, the, one of the lores is that the father um, had an affair with their slave, and the mother killed the slave. Uh, is there the a building back there? The slave. See, I wondered that too. I thought I saw something like. Oh, yeah. There's a little shed. That's not a city. Oof. Just then, you could hear a whisper that says something that we just can't make out. And as you can hear right afterwards, I make a noise responding to a chill I get. The sun is setting. Oof. The sun is setting. Oof. The sun is setting. Oof. Could this possible whisper be a slave or Native American that once resided on this land? Alright, dear, thank you. There's spiders and stuff. Alright, we are not turning back. Are you going in, Nikki? Just try not to bump the walls or anything. The only thing that's really worrying me is this roof. Okay. Well, as long as we don't make much movement. Did you, you hear that? As soon as Mikey enters the stable side of the barn, you hear howling in the distance. Movement. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Movement. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Movement. Did you hear that? The howling led us to believe that the legend of a crocata being in the area was true. And also, the howling only started when we entered the stable part of the barn and quit exactly when we left. Yeah. Wow, they're going crazy too. They're getting pissed. Is there one in there? No. There's noises. Some kind. There's what? Noises of some kind. Of all right, here we go. We're gonna be going inside. Just a few minutes ago, we tried to go in and uh, just checking for spiders. I really don't want to get bit. And uh, just seeing what happens. Where are they at right now? No, they're over there. They're right through the... This is really isn't focusing much either. I just heard something behind it. You might hear something walking because we're standing still. Yeah, behind us. Can you still hear it? Shh, no. shh, shh. At this time, everybody stopped and you can still hear footsteps on wood. The ground we were on was completely dirt and nothing underneath. Shh, no. shh, shh.
Are you go, Phil? No. Okay. Alright, um, I'm wondering if the crocata is out here, or possibly a demonic spirit, because um, a crocata is a monster or a creature that is like an Indian spirit that can mimic uh, human voices or hyenas, and actually looks slightly like a hyena, but the jaws and the lips right here are curved upwards, kind of like the Joker, and um, they're very ravenous creatures, and pretty much they lure people out, like farmers. Uh, they'll call and make the calls of their wife or someone they know, and whenever the person comes out uh, into the forest looking for their loved one, um, they attack them and eat them. Oh.